duo of partners and talk about X. This is hard work. This takes a lot of effort. So we're going to dive in, spend the rest of our time. We've only got a couple more hours, and I see the big tears in your eyes. I know that tears you up on a Friday that's sunny outside. <laughs> Group basics for formal cooperative learning. Heterogeneous and small. Two to four maximum, and you usually see for formal cooperative learning groups of three or four. Again, uh, heterogeneous, if at all possible. Random, stratified random, that means just two to three criteria. You see self-selected, and I would really steer clear of that. The research says you can do that. I don't think it's a good idea to let students self-select their formal groups, because what's going to happen if they do? Friends. Friends, and the A students will group together. And, and that's really counterintuitive to the re whole reason we're doing this, okay? Um, however, if you do multiple projects in a semester, and I don't know too many folks that do, but if you do multiple projects, those groups can be rotated. And notice the last thing, assigning roles, and that's going to be critical. That's going to be critical as we go through. Okay, lots of things that the teacher has to decide. This whole idea of, of, of pre-instructional pre decision-making. I was doing this a few weeks ago. Uh, I don't know where we were. Uh, and I had an um, instructor say to me, I guess my days of, I was a nursing instructor, say, I guess my days of parking lot planning are over. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not sure I would talk about the fact that you were planning your lessons in the parking lot, as you call, especially as a nurse. But uh, nonetheless, how do we monitor? How do we intervene? When do we evaluate? When do we assess? All of these things are things that get decided in advance. All right, five, we'll get to that in a minute, five key elements, five key elements of a cooperative lesson. If you are doing formal cooperative learning, five key elements that have to be in place. And the reason there's a pig in the upper left-hand corner.